Uh, the Israelis surrounded uh, Benjamin Netanyahu's house, and they demand his resignation. Look right. at all those people. Do the thing. Can you imagine if after 9-11, everybody surrounded the White House and demanded Bush and Cheney's resignation? No. <laughs> you know, since then, not only did they hurt the election in 2000, but then they went out and let 9-11 happen. Yeah. That's a, that's not that's a matter of public record, the part of they were given a warning and it wasn't acted on. Yeah. I guess everyone wasn't communicating enough back in those days. So uh, here we go. This is it. That's a lot of Israelis. So what they don't tell you here either is that uh, they were protesting Benjamin Netanyahu for like 40 weeks straight before this this war that he allowed to happen. This was, again, another, they knew it was coming. They were warned that it was coming by Egypt intelligence. They were warned by the U.S. intelligence. And Benjamin Netanyahu somehow just had all the troops somewhere else that day. Oh, you know what a big part of the protest was? LGBTQ rights. Did you know that? Part that's of this th protest was for oh, yeah, LGBTQ rights? that's been going rights? on for quite a few years because, I don't know if you know this, besides Hamas, you know who else doesn't care for the LGBTQ community? It would be the Israeli government? Yeah, yeah. They're, well, the term that I read in the AP was openly homophobic. So that's weird that suddenly it's a gay paradise now. <laughs> so, that's a, so that's a lot of Israelis that are upset and want Benjamin Netanyahu, they're, they're surrounding his house. Um... But guess so. But then people said this. People said, "No, no, no." The in <laughs> look at all those anti semites <laughs> waving those Israeli flags. I do. I really. This is like one major great thing about the Jewish people in general. Where they never get all together on a thing. <laughs> like, there's not like the stupidity of here where we're like, we got to rally behind George W. Bush. Right. There's not that kind of stupidity. Well, look, how dare they, Kurt, w w wave Israeli flags? And how dare they go against the forced redefinition of their entire religion? Of course, Christians never had to go through any religious revolution to express their grievances, did they? I mean, lots of people don't know that. The Protestants were only really protesting to get gluten-free wafers during that. <laughs> Is that mass. true? Yes. I, I did not know that. The whole thing got blown out of proportion. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, well, a bunch of these people wanted a two-state solution, just like your American liberals know nothing. Just all of America knows nothing about it. But people who live there have anger towards the government and weren't aware of the, we're going to fund Hamas to make sure there's no two-state solution. So, so this guy, Blue Traveler, says, don't get carried away. They are opposing the Netanyahu abuse of power, his usurpation of several cabinets, and his overhaul of the Supreme Court. They are not asking to free Palestine, nor calling for peace. This manifestation is one of the many in the past three to four years. And they're, and they're also saying that uh, he allowed October 7th to happen in order to salvage his political position and only make it worse. So they're upset that he let it happen. That's what they're saying. And you know what, Kurt? That reminds me. How come they say that October 7th was Israel's 9-11? Yes. And how come whenever there's a 9-11, Bibi Netanyahu is working? <laughs> it's a little weird. He was on the job during both 9-11s. Yeah. That is weird. Look, I'm just saying... <laughs> That if you worked at, say, like a tire store, <laughs> and the store suffered at least two 9-11s, and both happened during BB's shift, wouldn't a loss prevention <laughs> guy maybe drive down from corporate and have a word with BB? Hey, fair point. Fair point. So, Blue Traveler saying that the protesters were not protesting on behalf of Palestinians, but merely Benjamin Netanyahu's corruption within Israel politics. That's like going to Pol Pot's house to protest because he wouldn't put in enough bike lanes. That's that's what that is. Yeah, but they're not going to go protest. If he, what do you think? There's not the same exact thing as here? Of So I just want to disabuse you of that idea, by the way. Uh, this guy says, this is Tel Aviv. They're protesting about the abductees. I'm sure they were. <laughs> but there was also people like this there.
Watch this guy. Here's an Israeli demonstrating outside of Netanyahu's house, and here's what he has to say. Never for one single moment in my life have trusted this man. I think he's a psychopath. I think he's, he's a lunatic. Not just I think that. Lots of people. I would never trust him with anything. Not him, not his government. That's all I have to say. They are dangerous people. They're extremists, they're fascists, they're racists, they're fanatics. They don't want peace. They want war because it serves their own self-interest. While most of the people on both sides, you know, Israelis, Palestinians alike, they are the people who pay the price. They are the ones who suffer. They are the ones whose, whose lives are lost while they keep the power in their hands. Netanyahu is just like um, Donald Trump, just like Milosevic, just like Hitler. These people will do everything to keep power in their hands and they don't care if everything else crumbles. They can destroy everything just as long as they remain in power. I would say that's just like Joe Biden, just like Kamala Harris, just like the Democrats and the establishment Republicans. They don't care if the whole country crumbles or goes into a civil war as long as they can maintain power and do more war. Well, Israel is like America. It is. Least. It is. <laughs> Just like Hitler, he told the German people, you're not worthy of living, because if I go down, you go down with me. Same thing with him. Some people in Israel are so disturbed that they think if you simply say you're sad about loss of life, of innocent people, of children, that makes you a traitor, because as long as they're not Jewish, you mustn't say that. This is sick. I refuse. I will never, ever change. I'm, first of all, a human being. I am for life. And I don't care if a child is from Gaza or from Tel Aviv or from, I don't care where, from Istanbul or New York. A child is a child is a child, period. And this is the most important thing in the world. I guess uh, all Jewish people are not the same as the racists who tell you that. Yes, that's right. Or implying. So, uh, Fawn, that, uh, that Siri says, the mainstream media doesn't show this side of Israel because it would unite the great people from both countries. Instead, they will gaslight us into thinking all Israelis hate Palestinians. This man represents the majority of humanity from all over the world. I hope he will be safe from speaking. Uh, it goes on to say, I completely understand and appreciate what he's saying. Wanting peace and not celebrating the death of innocent kids and civilians doesn't make one a traitor, but a great human being. We can't lose our humanity because evil politicians want power. I hate Israel to my core because of all it did. They're mean the Israeli government. That, that said, I'd love to have this dude as my neighborhood. My neighbor, if the leaders of Israel have a fraction of this man's humanity, we'd all be in a much better place. We need more of him to pressure the criminal government to go into oblivion. And then down here says, it's understandable to love our neighbors and despise their government at the same time. That's exactly right. Nobody hates the Israeli people. What we hate is their murderous, power-hungry, psychopathic, genociding government. Anything anything you want to add? No? Are we good? Mm -hmm. What? Because Steph had it's I know. Okay. So uh that's that. Do you want anything? So that I would love to see uh that kind of enthusiasm surrounding the White House, surrounding Joe's Joe Biden's uh vacation home. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna show you. In our next segment, there are people who were going up to Joe Biden's holiday celebration and wrecking it with chance of these genociding. Um, I, I would just like to see the response from Michael Rappaport before I think anything about what, what this is Michael saying. Rappaport think. So, do, so are all these people are all these people here? Are they all anti-Semitic? Yeah. Are these all self-hating, all self-hating Jews? They hate, they hate Jews the way you hate science, Jimmy, with all their <laughs> Hamas-loving hearts. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, every one of these Israeli citizens is a Hamas now. 
We're doing live comedy shows in Oxnard, California, Venice, California, Palmdale, California, Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Milwaukee, Lansing, Michigan, Bend, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, and Boston. Plus, we're going to put a date in Edmonton, Canada, plus Vancouver. See ya. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets. (laughs) 